welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna ride to the beach. But we're not gonna go on the river trail. Today we're gonna use uh, the streets to go to the beach. So that's always loads of fun. because apparently my car was full so I don't know how much I recorded so like I was saying I'm going to the beach on a street route rather than the river trail it's usually pretty interesting when I go on the street because there's a lot of things going on a lot of construction a lot of maintenance a lot of cars and it's not a straight shot but it's interesting because you get to see other cities and you get to see whether or not your bike will So you get to test the limits of your bike. Like I'm going up this steep hill, maybe you can't see it on the GoPro because it's too, too wide of a view. And you also get to see how ridiculous it is to put a A light right at the tip of the the hill. So in scenarios like this, you don't want to give it the full throttle.
because we want to be able to make it back. So if you push the throttle all the way, you might kill your battery prematurely. So what you need to do is make good use of your gears because unlike other, oops, do it. you all saw that wow like I said streets are interesting So like I was saying before I became roadkill is that you could shift your gears to help you climb instead of using your throttle or pedaling on the hardest gear you could actually shift to a low gear you know and make it easy on yourself you don't have to kill yourself in one go when your gears don't work that means you have to adjust them so if you shift and they don't shift or they have they skip then you have a problem with your gears and you have to you have to adjust them or else you won't be able to shift properly and you will have difficulty selecting the right gear at the right moment you do a shift you make sure that you don't do it too fast because that could also make the chain jump to a, a gear that you didn't want So when you gear some properly shift, 
you have to adjust them and you have two options you could take this to your local bike shop or you could do it yourself So that you know, if you take it to your local bike shop, it has to be a bike shop that either sells e-bikes or is known to work on e-bikes because not most bike shops that sell regular bikes will want to work on your e-bike. So normally what I do is I work on my own e-bike. It's not that hard. You just need to keep in mind a couple of things. So things to be mindful. It's no you or the railer, which is the back, it's on the back wheel. Where the gears are at. So before you set anything, you need to first try out the barrel adjusters, which could be up here or right at the bottom where the cable meets the derailleur. So when you adjust, remember that it's backwards. So to tighten the cable, you need to loosen the barrel to loosen the cable you need to tighten the cable uh, the adjuster So you need to um, adjust the barrel before you adjust anything else. So you need to know what your high gear and your low gears are. Your low gears are So your low gears are the biggest sprockets on your bicycle and the highest gears are the 
small ones. So if you need to turn and adjust your barrel to time the cable, you need to do it counterclockwise. Remember that it's always backwards. So if you want to time the cable, you need to loosen it up. And if you need to time the cable, you need to do it counterclockwise. And to loosen up the cable, you need to do it clockwise. If you have a problem with your chain goes over the biggest bracket, um, you could tighten the cable so it could keep it from going into your spokes and that could damage your um, wheel on the long run. So what you need to do is tighten the cable so that means loosen the, the barrel. So when, so if you have another problem where you're, you're on the smallest gear, on the hardest gear, and you want to shift up and it's not letting you, you might want to loosen the cable. So you might want to turn it clockwise to loosen it up. So before you go messing around with the limit screws, you should try to adjust your barrel and see if that fixes the problem. So I do hope this uh, <clears throat> video was helpful. I will see you on the next one.